Uh, hello guys, this is Peter Safi, Structures, Structures Limited, found in Kasese here. Uh, I'm with my colleagues here, trying to paint, doing this and this to make sure that everything is good. Uh, hello guys, I want you to tell me and all the listeners to know about what you're doing here at Peter Safi Structures Limited in Kasese. Yeah. So guys, how do you how do you do this? <laughs> anyway, hey. uh, I'm I'm Hakim Wambare. Uh, yo, man, like, yo, man. I'm Bams. Yeah, uh, man. I'm working with Hima Cement mm. Department Safety Subsection Painting. Uh, I'm here. I'm with you, my voice, colleague. The voice, the voice. I'm I'm with you, my colleague here. He called me from Hima Cement. Come on, work with him. Uh, I'm doing painting. Uh, my colleagues can tell you more about. Yes, I'm seeing this guy is also here, busy, seriously doing this and this to make sure everything. So, man, what is your name and uh, how do you do this? Uh, my name is uh, Kiza Abbas. Yo, see? Yeah, I, I work at uh, Rigo Pet, which are service structures limited. Yeah. Um, we are doing some simple artworks here, and you can see I'm trying to mix some alkyds, you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is called uh, Rigo, uh, high gloss paint. It's what we use on uh, woods, uh, metals, and everything. So this one is called uh, um, high gloss paint, yes. yellow. Yeah. You can call it ancient yellow. So it's what we use here on the surface, you know. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't need any primer, uh, as, as, as I told you at first. Yeah. So what do you do and uh, how do we apply it first print? So. You bring a piece of uh, M10 yellow, yes, and uh, you get the brush. Yeah. So you just dip in. So after you dip in, you come and apply on the surface. You know. Yeah. So this is how we apply. The application way should be rhythmic. You yeah, know. Man. And then we go straight. So after, after we have applied everything here, we, we're gonna put words. So, so I'm saying you guys, you've used the two colors, red and. Oh, and oh, and yeah. M10 yellow, so the red is for what exactly, actually, and actually. the yellow is for what? So tell me, tell me, tell me, uh, tell uh, me, uh, guys. On that, let me yeah. just explain it. Let me just give you a simple explanation. Yes. Uh, that's why yellow and uh, and red and signal red. That's what what I know. Yellow and signal red, they are bright colors. Yo, man, that's why man, I'm man. using signal red and. Uh, the M10 here because that more bright. Yeah. Uh, after that, when we're using signal red and and the M10 yellow, like when we are putting words in, in white color, they become brighter yeah. more than other colors. Yes. That's why I'm using this to make this sign again. So guys. I'm seeing that this thing might be chemical affecting, you know, these chemicals are mixed and all of this. So how do you make it to make sure that these things do not affect you? How do you... On that, yes. on that, I can give you a smaller explanation. Uh, we are just, you know, I've seen this respirator. Yeah. This one is for industrial, it is called a respirator, industrial mask. Yes. Yeah, this one su supports you to like those those fumes of uh, paint. So it supports you to avoid those fumes. Supports you actually. Let me, my colleagues, explain more about what he knows. Yeah. So we have what we call uh, respirators, uh, safety guards. These are PPEs. So what do you need to do? You must a, a, a good a good technician must move with all materials, right? Yes, so I see. This is this what I use uh, on the face. So, when I apply it, so I do not get a fumes direct. Yeah. So, I use the respirator. So, when I'm painting the surface here, uh, the, the, the movement of fumes from the surface does not directly enter the mouth or the nostrils. So, I just use that. And, uh, I want you. I want uh, to go to the Nani. Yeah, man. So that we see some simple. Some simple. Okay, let's go. So we can go, guys. 
This is the stores, or you can call it the art gallery, uh, where we do our jobs. Uh, for. As you can see, some for some is there. So these are some simple things we do. And some materials are there. Uh, you know, we can take the here. Yeah. They come here, there. And you can see. So here we do some graphics. Graphics. Yeah, we do some graphics here. Uh, signages, posters, banners. We do everything. We do everything. So me, I'm called Abbas Kiza. Uh, I generally work as uh, a programmer. Uh, I deal with school badges. Any software related activity I do. So we got here uh, in the technical room. Yeah, so, so we got here in the technical room. Yes. So this is where we do most of the things. You know? This is where we do most of the things, you know? Yes, so I this see. is what this is what called the technical stores. Yeah. And so yeah. as you can take uh, your you camera, can the camera. Uh, it's as if I'm seeing a computer behind there. I want so you to also explain that how computer it is works. embedded on a machine. Yes. That picks that, that mixes paints. Uh, right now, as I'm speaking, we are in Kasese Hima. So that computer is mixed to the uh, is connected to the machine that mixes paint. We do paint color mixing. Rigo Paints, Uganda Limited. Yes, I see. In partnership with the Picture Surface Structures Limited. So, uh, that's the simple things we do, guys. Yeah. So, you can just subscribe for more details. Yes, so members, that Picture Surface Structures Limited. Structures Limited. And every person who wishes to have a well decorated house and all this, so you can contact them. Thank you very much. <laughs>